guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about a very controversial subject regarding rabbits, and that is spay and neuter, as well as vaccines. Now, I have mentioned my opinions on this in other rabbit videos, so I won't be surprised if people do get very angry while watching this video, uh, but I wanted to go more into detail about my opinions on that and just general information regarding spay and neutering for rabbits. I feel like the online rabbit community really shames pet owners and really kind of makes it seem like if you don't spend tons and tons of money on your rabbit that you're just not a good owner. And really that's not the case at all. Rabbits are actually pretty economical pets and they're not difficult to care for, which is why I recommend rabbits as great family pets for kids. A kid, someone under the age of 17 or much younger, depending on how mature they are, can be taught how to care for a rabbit and they can also be taught how to handle a little rabbit correctly and safely and rabbits actually don't require a lot of money. Growing up I had rabbits as a kid very very early on in life. I had them for many years. They were wonderful pets and I know many other kids who take great care of their rabbits. In fact many of my subscribers here on YouTube own pet rabbits and they're just great with them. So rabbits can make a really good pet for families as long as the children are mature and willing to take care of them. And really rabbits actually don't require a lot of money but based off of some care guides on the internet you would not think that is the case and honestly it's because it's really exaggerated most of the time. For example, I've been told several times that rabbits are extremely difficult to care for and my response to that is if a rabbit is extremely difficult for you to care for then any other pet would probably just be completely out of your league. Now I understand that to some people a rabbit probably is a lot of work but in all reality I'm comparing rabbits to a lot of other animals. So any pet that you have is going to be difficult to care for. They require a lot. They require food and cleaning and just all, you know, their basic little necessities. But when it comes to rabbits, they are definitely easier to maintain than you know, other types of exotics that you can get. Now, two of the things that do make rabbits come across as very expensive pets to own is spay and neutering as well as vaccines. Let's go over vaccines first because it's pretty basic and we can just get that out of the way. I wish that people putting information out online would understand the information that, you know, that they're putting out there. And the truth is, is that here in America, most of the time our rabbits do not require vaccines. However, in countries like the UK, and other places in Europe, especially if you are out in the country, vaccines are extremely important. You do want to consider your area and the potential for disease. Do you have a wild rabbit population living close to you? This could potentially lead to harmful diseases that your rabbit could be exposed to. So find out if there are wild rabbits in your area. Find out what type of diseases are prevalent in your area. Now, if you're somebody that lives, you know, in the city and you live in an apartment and your rabbit's probably not really gonna be going outside, then you're probably safe and you probably don't need to provide those vaccines. But places that, you know, are going to be exposed to that, now you do need to get your rabbit vaccinated in those cases. But a good way you can actually find out is by calling your local veterinarians and asking them what the protocol is for your area. And I do recommend calling different veterinarians. Don't just, you know, go with what one person tells you. Call multiple people in the area and make sure that they are being honest about what the protocol is. All right, so let's move on to neutering. So first of all, neutering is usually a term used for males and spay is usually the term used for females. And this is basically the process of doing a surgery in which you completely remove the reproductive organs of the animal. Now, I am a huge advocate of spay and neuter for dogs, but I do not support spay and neutering for rabbits most of the time. And here's why. When it comes to spaying and neutering an animal, there are pros and cons but I do not believe that rabbits and dogs are the same situation. Now, when it comes to dogs, most people are not responsible or educated enough to have their animals intact. Most people do not understand a dog's heat cycle and they're probably gonna own more than one dog. They're gonna be living in a neighborhood where there's going to be other dogs in the area. 
uh, there's just so many chances of having an unwanted litter. And if a male dog smells a female in heat in your neighborhood, they're going to try to get to her if they're intact. For dogs, there are certain health benefits from spay and neutering where they don't get certain diseases, cancers, or illnesses that have to do with their reproductive organs because those are actually removed. And millions of dogs are euthanized every year, so unless you are breeding responsibly, the best thing to do is to probably have your dog spayed or neutered. So all of those I consider to be good reasons to have your dog spayed or neutered, but now that's not quite going to apply to rabbits. So I said I'm against neutering rabbits uh, for the most part, so the only time that I would recommend to have your rabbit spayed or neutered is if you're going to have multiple living together, so males and females housed together. That's definitely where you do want to make sure that you're not just, you know, having tons of rabbits um, and overpopulating the area and then just having to send them off to shelters and things like that. But for the most part, people aren't going to really have too many rabbits if you have, you know, maybe two then it would be easier to just get uh, two males or two females. Um, also, housing them in separate areas isn't going to be as hard. I would never say that spay and neutering your rabbit is a care requirement. It is absolutely not. So the situation with rabbits is just not the same as the situation with dogs. Your rabbit is not going to try to get out of your yard to go breed the neighbor rabbit. <laughs> At least not in most cases, but you understand what I'm saying is that there's just so many dogs and so many opportunities for unwanted litters. Now, of course, there are a lot of unwanted litters with rabbits, and I think that's where this mentality has come from, to try to prevent that. But in reality, in the big scope of things, it is not the same as with dogs. And people, I think, with rabbits could more effectively control the amount of rabbits that are, you know, being bred and all of that. Whereas with dogs, it's just a completely different situation that is out of control. But with rabbits, it's not the same. It's, it's not like that. And the thing to understand with rabbits is that the people who are willing to spend the money on taking the rabbit, which was probably a not so expensive pet to buy, to the vet to have them spayed or neutered, that's a, that's a big cost. So the people that are willing to go and do that are the people that are not going to have an unexpected litter of rabbits. Uh, for the most part, those are the people that are going to be more responsible with their rabbits and that's just not something that's going to happen. So the people who are going to actually have these unwanted litters, the people who are going to be like, well, I didn't know it was a boy and a girl, or I didn't know you couldn't put a boy and a girl together. Those are the people who are not going to spend the money on going to have their rabbit spayed or neutered. So instead, I think it's important to teach education and teach that no, you cannot house a male and a female together. Remember I mentioned that health problems was a good reason to have a dog spayed. Now, this is not going to be the same as with rabbits. So dogs are going to go into a heat cycle on a regular basis. Now, this is where you can have complications and health problems can come up. Now, there are times where a dog does have to be spayed because they do have a life-threatening condition and this is caused by them going into heat cycles on a regular basis. However, with rabbits, they do not have this. They do not have the heat cycles that certain mammals like dogs go into. Instead, they actually ovulate when mating. So that's something that makes them very different from dogs. It's kind of more uh, like cats or alpacas where it's not like, okay, we got to see when they're in heat. No, they can actually just be bred at certain times because they're going to actually ovulate when they are being mated. So that's definitely something to consider when you are comparing Spain and neutering rabbits to Spain and neutering dogs. So let's talk about Rabbit Forum's favorite topic, cancer. So if you cut your hand off, you will never get a paper cut ever again. So have I convinced you to do it? You see where I'm going with this. So if you remove an organ from the body, that organ is obviously never going to get cancer. Now, is that really a good reason to do it? Is, is it a good reason to be so proactive in that? What other complications are you causing by removing that organ? So my point to this is that yes, if you remove the ovaries, this does prevent ovarian cancer. But does the body actually need those ovaries inside it? Does that actually help the body's overall functions? Now there is some research that is coming to light that says that spay and neutering could actually have negative effects on a dog's health. Now, to me personally, I believe that the overpopulation issue is enough 
of a reason to spay and neuter all dogs that are coming out of rescues. But we do need to be honest with the fact that we do not have enough research and enough data to determine that spay and neutering is always the right thing to do and that it does not have complications. That is just not something that we can honestly say. Now, ferrets are always dying of endocrine imbalances from being spayed and neutered very young. There are studies suggesting that spay and neutering dogs is actually causing them to have other health problems related to hormone imbalance. And let's think of it this way. If a human woman is going to have her ovaries and uterus removed, she is most likely going to be advised to go through a hormonal therapy. And there's really a lot to actually get into that because now uh, they want the ovaries to actually stay there. So it's just the uterus that's going to be removed or just different things like that because there's more research about how those organs actually affect our body. So in reality, you have to think, you know, we're mammals. So is our anatomy, is our biology and our chemistry really that much different to these other animals that we're doing these spay and neutering surgeries to? So because of these things, I really do believe that it is better to leave your rabbits intact. I believe that it is better for their bodies. It's going to be better for their hormones and just everything that's in incorporated in that and I'm actually going to leave a link in the description of this video so that you guys can get more in-depth information about the research in regards to spay and neutering dogs. Um, it's not you know the same as rabbits like I just said but I think you can kind of apply some of the same concepts to it and just gives you more information about how um, the reproductive organs affect the body and how it affects the body to actually not have them there. So please do not believe anybody that tells you that you have to have your rabbit spayed or neutered in order for it to live a long and healthy life. If your vet recommends for you to spay or neuter your rabbit, I encourage you to ask them what their opinion is on endocrine disorders and its relationship to the reproductive organs. Personally, I really do believe that veterinarians are pushing spay and neutering on rabbits uh, solely for the purpose of bringing in more money. Because with dogs, there's two reasons to get them spayed and neutered, and that's overpopulation and health problems. And with rabbits, that's just not the case. For either one of those, it's there's not big problems in regards to that. So what other reason would there be to be pushing this? And I know personally that not all veterinarians do push this. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out my links down below in the description of this video for more information. And be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter where I do post every day. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!